Yes, the Ada Awards, they're named after Ada Lovelace, who is um, a European woman, or was a European woman, and um, arguably the first computer programmer, which is why we named the awards after her. Um, the awards actually recognize young women and women in tech sectors uh, studying or working in digital areas and organizations who are promoting getting more girls and women into these areas. Well, I'm running an all-day workshop, actually, for young girls to get them interested in technology through creative endeavor, which is something that I really love because I think all young people get into digital skills if there's an interesting angle. So we like to showcase music and film and design, and the girls end up learning stuff before they realize what it is that they're doing because they're so focused on the creative output. And in fact, there aren't enough stories, I think, in digital media or in any media that are really written and produced and delivered end to end by girls and by women. So it's really important that they learn the skills to be able to do that and so that they can tell their own stories. The whole angle of approaching digital skills through creative endeavor is um, the idea behind Digital Muse. Um, and we're approaching the topic from that direction because it is more alluring for young people and especially for girls, I think, to focus on a really creative and concrete output um, in order to just then by chance pick up some skills that they wouldn't have otherwise. Um, and what we found is that when they do these workshops that are really inspiration-driven um, and very hands-on, that they pick up the skills very quickly and their usual response is, oh, that was a lot easier than I thought and, and I'm going to do more of it. Um, so they become more of the users and uh, less of the users and more of the makers uh, using the technology. I think anything that brings attention to the fact that there aren't enough girls and women in technology sectors is very valuable. And based on the um, feedback that we've gotten and the popularity of International Girls and ICT Day, I think that only demonstrates that there is a lot of support, uh, that people understand that there's a challenge and that we need to do something about it. It's been a great opportunity to showcase things that work to attract more girls and women into the sector. So we're really creating a lot of momentum around this topic, which can only in the end mean really good things for the sector, as well as for the girls and the broader society who benefit from this engagement of girls in this very important area. Mm -hmm.